Hello, this is Reza from Radicad. In uh, some previous videos, I talked about what is treat as function and how you can use it to create virtual relationship. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about how to use that approach to create a relationship between two tables as a between relationship. Like, for example, you want to say this age is between those and you want to create an age band like this that shows you the count of customers or people in each group band using DAX 3 tests. Let's see how it works. Um, this file that I'm working with, you can download it from the link down in the description below to my blog article with more explanation. Uh, now let's talk about the problem and through that problem I'm ex ex explaining a pattern, a design pattern in Power BI that, and DAX that you can use. Let's say I have a table like this, uh, sample data is a table that I have and I've created that with an expression, a DAX expression. You can get all these codes down in my, uh, in the link in the description down, uh, which goes to my blog post. Uh, this is what the table look like. Uh, I have a first name, last name, and the age of different people. And I want to categorize these. I want to say, for example, those in age of 40, those in age of 20, those in age of 30. I want to have groups like that. Uh, there are different ways you can do grouping in Power BI. You can use Power Query conditional um, column. You can use the grouping or binning in Power BI where you right, right click on a field or on a column and create uh, groups based on that. Uh, but here I want to show you how you can do that with DAX because it gives you a little bit more flexibility in some areas. Uh, so this is my... Uh, table, let's say sample data table, and I've created another table, which I called it age band. And this age band table is basically just a set of bands. You can create it with uh, what if parameter, which will use generate series function uh, expression. You can use that, or you can use it like an expression like this. Uh, 10 here, for example, means from 1 to 10, 20 means from 11 to 20. This is how the bands works. Now, I have written an expression here, and if this is the first time you are using uh, treat as or you are dealing with treat as, uh, use the other videos that I have uh, for treat as to learn more about that. So here is my expression. I have an expression that uh, uses uh, different sections. So it is calculating the count of rows in each band. How it does it? First, it gets the selected band. This is the visual I'm working on it. And for, and for this visual, I have the age band uh, appearing here. There is no relationship between these two tables. Let me first show you that. These two tables has zero relationship with each other. I'll talk about that table a little bit later. For now, don't worry about that. And no relationship between these. Uh, that means if I create a visual like this, which has age band and count of something from the other table, it would be um, same count anyway, right? Relationship won't work. And why I don't create relationship? Because it won't make sense. If I create relationship, it will only give me those that their age is right on top of the band, like 40, 20, 30, not those that are in the range, right? So what I have done, I've created this measure. And in this measure, first I get what is the selected band or what is the band in uh, in the filter context, for example, if it is 30, this would return 30. If it is 40, this would return 40. And uh, then I'm using this function, generate series, to generate a list of numbers as a table from that value minus 9. Let's say if it is 40, minus 9 of that, which is 31. From 31, uh, adding 1 at a time to 40, which would be 31, 32, 33, all the way to 40, right? So this creates a list. And then the result of that list, which is the values of that band, I use it inside a treat as function, inside calculate, and I filter the age field of the other table using that, right? So using this method, I filter the other field based on all values in this range. And as a result here, you can see that uh, I have uh, calculation working perfectly fine. Now, this can be also extended a little bit. Uh, here is another example. I've created another table. 
age band detailed and this one particularly uh, has a little bit more information here I have a start and end of each band and you can see that some of these bands are let's say uh, 10 years time span some of them are only let's say five years and things like that right so I have different band different sizes which is uh, a little bit different from what you get in grouping and binning of Power BI because everything should be the same size so here I can have different band sizes right and sort order is used to sort the age band column anyway so here I have a start and end the difference in this time is that I don't need to say whatever that value is minus nine because I have the start of that period so uh, my expression this time looks a little bit different and this is the result let me bring also the expression so the expression is uh, is this one uh, the difference of this expression with the previous expression is that here I have a selected value of a start so if for example age band is 21 to 25 this would be 21 and selected value of end for that scenario again this would be 25 so from 21 to 25 that is what I use in generate series from 21 to 25 at one at a time that would be list of values which I use in treat as to filter the age column right and here as you can see the result is uh, one for each band here uh, as a result right so the pattern that I explained through this approach is how to create relationship between two tables based on between what we are doing here right now in this example is that we are getting uh, the values of sample data their age value to be between the start and end of the other table you cannot create a relationship and say this should be between uh, those two unless you go and create a table with all possible values in between uh, and create a relationship based on that or this is uh, another approach that you have seen uh, this is an approach that you can use treat as uh, to create a relationship based on in between the way that we do it is that we get the two so two ends of each band we generate a list of values based on those uh, of all possible values and then we use it in another function like treat as or it can be filter functions as well to filter the other uh, tables column if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to your youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai